What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Oh, so today we are inside the house because as you can tell outside, it is pouring again and the cars are all wet downstairs and I can't do any exterior car work. What I really wanted to do today was do the coolant flange on the B5, but I can't do that. So I'm going to stick to some interior pieces that I can finish up upstairs and show you guys how I update the B5 interior to make it look a whole lot better. <laughs> So today we're going to be working on both the uh, steering wheel and also the shift boot cover. Now after after a long life, uh, this steering wheel starts to get a little bit ugly and uh, worn out and such. So what I want to do with today is actually refinish the leather on this and also the shift boot to match the uh, actual steering wheel cover. We're going to move uh, the steering wheel aside so I can show you what we got. So. I actually went on AliExpress and picked up these two things. One is a just a makeshift shift boot with some red stitching on it, um, so that way we can attach it to this uh, OEM shift boot. And also, I got a universal uh, hand stitched perforated leather uh, steering wheel with red stitching on it. Um, this makes the job a whole lot easier because there's less. Uh, to have to cut. We're gonna get started with the shift boot and then move on to doing the steering wheel. Um, I'm not gonna go too crazy and uh, actually pull each one of these staples off because there's just no point. This thing is going in the garbage anyway. So I'm actually just gonna rip these off. Again, not trying to be too cute. Just trying to um, pretty much just take this shift boot and uh, pull it off the actual uh, plastic bracket that it comes with. So now that we got rid of the old uh, shift boot, the next thing I wanna do is make sure that these two shift boots are about the same length, which looks about right. Um, so this one seems to be a little bit longer. What we wanna do is take the new shift boot, slide this new thing in there, and push it up, push it up towards the top until it pretty much almost flattens out. Now, if you look on the inside, these little tabs here used to have part of the shift boot rolling over it. So we're actually gonna have to cut around these tabs so that way we can kind of press these things inside. Once you make the holes where the boot is actually going to hug around this section here, um, we're gonna flip it over to the other side and repeat the same steps, making sure that this is the same length on both sides. Gonna hold it down like this and make a small incision and just wrap the boot over it just like that. Same thing on the other side. Next thing we need to do is pull down on the other sides and make sure we re-staple these to where they're supposed to go. Instead of staples, what I decided to do with this is actually uh, glue the sides uh, because what I realized is that a lot of people are not gonna have a heavy duty stapler, um, but they might have one of these glue guns uh, laying around the house. So I'm actually gonna let this heat up and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this off of here. We're gonna glue the inside, slap it back over it, and then press down on this so that way we get a nice consistent glue. Now repeat that same step all the way around making sure that everything is stuck down nice. Now go through and cut off any excess and this is ready to be installed in the car. We're done with our shift boot. We're gonna move on to the steering wheel itself. Now I've actually jumped the gun a little bit and started wrapping some of it so you guys can see exactly what you can pull out of this. This is what the steering wheel was. I took the wrap that comes with it and I pretty much just stretched it all over it. Now. This wrap is going to have stitches going down the sides here. Pretty much all you want to do is just grab the stitches from here and tie them to the stitches on the other side and pull through. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you. First thing you want to do is tie one end of the string to the needle that they give you. And you're going to pull all the way this way on the tightest one, on the closest one, sorry, in the back to the middle without going too far in, and you're gonna tie it a knot right in this section here. By doing so, you make sure that the string is not gonna be pulling in any kind of strange ways. Now we're gonna take this one and then loop it through the other side. 
It's very hard to show on camera. Again, I'm gonna bring it over to the other side from the back and loop it this way here and pull all the way through. I'm gonna keep doing this guys and uh, I'll come back and show you what the final product of the steering wheel is because this is really hard. All right guys, so the job is now complete. The steering wheel looks pretty darn good. The stitching um, for the most part came out really good. I think I only messed up in like one little section here where I had to pull hard enough. So I guess, you know, my advice to you when you're doing something like this, just make sure that you're pulling on the string as hard as you can so that way these um, the stitching comes out really good. Um, I gotta say though, it does come, it did come out pretty awesome um, for my very first time doing this. And uh, also this thing came out pretty good except for that hanging glue there. Well, that looks weird. Anyways guys, let's head back downstairs to Project B5 and install these things and see how they look. Just about ready to get the install uh, all in place. Um, I know I didn't show you guys how to take off the steering wheel and then uh, um, also like the shift uh, boot from where it is located on the shifter. We're actually doing a couple different upgrades right now. Again, I'm keeping the, the cost as low as I can. I think I spend between the shift boot and the uh, steering wheel wrap and new shift knob maybe $23 on AliExpress, so it was super cheap, but it's definitely little things that um, are gonna change the interior of the car and make it look as best as it can. If you guys don't know how to take off the assembly over here um, for the shift boot, then make sure you go on um, on any websites. There's a ton of uh, different videos on them. Um, I didn't wanna you know, do another video on this because I felt like it was irrelevant with all the videos that are out there. So pretty much um, all we wanna do is install this and uh, let's see how it looks. Now that guys looks a whole lot better than stock. Um, I actually really like this golf ball shift knob that I, that usually comes on like GTIs. Uh, and then what I did was the little uh, coin that they gave you for the top. Um, I actually wrapped that in carbon fiber just to kind of match um, all the little accents that are going on in here. So uh, yeah, let's put the steering wheel cover on and uh, well the steering wheel itself on right over here and see how that looks. Also make sure whenever you're taking off the steering wheel that you mark um, exactly where those lines are because you want to put that back together um, in a way that you're not going to throw off your alignment. Tighten this down and at the end we'll torque it down. Alright guys and there she goes. Brand new looking steering wheel. The stitching came out really good and it really changes up um, the way this interior looks right over here guys. Check that out. That is sick. This is sick. I'm actually very happy with how everything turned out. I know it's a little dark so you can't see it well enough, but I can tell you right now, um, it looks pretty mean. So guys, I am very excited for how this turned out. I think the B5 is coming along nicely. Um, I am going to be working a little bit more than I usually do. Uh, because I am actually transferring to a different location. Um, I am going to a new place. It's better for me because it's definitely closer to home. That's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys learned something new. And uh, let me put the battery uh, positive back on and uh, head upstairs and enjoy the rest of my day off because it's the last one I'll have for quite a bit. So see you guys in the next one. Peace out.